Hey guys, I'm Cody at Urbine Past Life Pro, and before you think or say anything, just take a look at the water around my character. Amazing, right? Well, if you remember back to my Minecraft shader tutorial on water transparency for the Seuss, I was able to get to a similar look where the water was basically as non-transparent as it is here. But the difference was it left whatever texture was for your water completely visible, which did not look clean, in my opinion. So, fast forward to present day. That issue doesn't exist. Today, I'm going to teach you how to get these fully non-transparent waters in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. Alrighty, let's begin. First, have the SUS shader run zipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite2.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 1002. For getting the normal parallax waters to turn into the updated water, it's actually more simple than you think. All you need to do is change the number after Fresnel power to 0.0. .0. Any number above this will instantly snap the water back into its original form, which is why I recommend you keep the value only as this. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. Do keep in mind that this change, though beautiful, can cause some little annoyances. One being, if you were to look down at the water when in dark areas, the water will likely turn fully black, until you raise your cursor to the horizon. I've accepted this, so if I decide to use this adjustment for the future, that's what I'd be working around. If this Zeus tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!